very, very good quality field. And we start off with Silvano's timer. Yeah, Silvano's timer. I think he ran a very good race last time on July. Uh, he finished his race off well on the outside. And, uh, and he came through that run well. Uh, unfortunately, we're not too well drawn, so he needed a lot of luck. His final workout this morning, I was happy with him. He's a fit horse and his sound is moving well. We then go to Rex Union. Um, this is a very, very good, solid race, and he looks like a very talented horse. The first time I ever tried him of a 2-4, before I brought him up here, he won, he won exceptionally well. He quickened up well at Durbanville, but uh, his last run, you know, at the weights, with uh, he's, he's a little bit out at the weights, but uh, he, he, he does stay well, and, and, he's, and he's sound, and I've always said to you before, in the Gold Cup, you know, if, you, if you're a sound horse and you stay and you've got a nice galloping weight, he's got it, he's, he's not too well drawn and uh, he's right up on the outside and uh, well we've just got to, you know, Sean's just got to work it out as we go along into that first turn. As you know, sometimes they go along and go into the turn and they, they ease it up the back stretch and, and you know, no one likes to see that, you just like to see them at an even tempo all the way. But uh, that we'll leave up to Sean, but he's doing well. Russian Rock. He's a horse that falls into the category, which is quite rare at this time of the year, of a horse that had a great run in the Drill Hall Stakes, ran exceptionally well in the Hollywood Bets Gold Challenge. He hasn't had a run in the July like a lot of his counterparts over here have. So, so he's a horse that's been specifically prepared for the race, which I like a lot. Yeah, I think he's, he's only had the two runs, as you say, in the Drill Hall. He was just a bit stiff in the Drill Hall. And um, in a very good run in the Gold Challenge. Uh, 1800 meters. He's, he's, he's got the pedigree, you know, uh, to get to get the trip. Um, he's nicely drawn. You just uh, it's, it's just how things go in, in in the running of the race. And, and uh, but he's doing exceptionally well. Uh, I must say, very very tough race, the Champions Cup. It's some top performed horses in the country meeting. Uh, but he'll come into this race. I mean, I couldn't have him any better. I mean, he looks exceptionally well. I watched him move this morning. Not only work him on his own because he, he does a lot of work on his own and uh, he really enjoyed himself. So um, one thing is just if he settles nicely, uh, he's, he's got to be a competitive runner. He's now 120 after his last run. But um, let's put him to the test and just hope it all goes well and switches off nicely in the race. And then Silva Maria might be your last runner of the 2022 season. She runs in the gold bracelet. She's taking on some top fillies, not least of all Marina, who we know has been somewhat off colour but showed a serious bounce back to form in the Garden Province. Yeah, that's Philly. I think she's, uh, you know, she's really uh, got better as she's matured and strengthened up in the last part of the season. Um, you know, owner Peter Croft's been very, very patient with her. She always needed that time. Um, and uh, she's going to go to stud now. This is her last run and she ran third in the Oaks the other day, stayed on well. But if you look at her form, it's good solid form. Uh, the run before where she did run third, okay, she was getting quite a bit of weight from, I think, uh, she's a keeper, but uh, she is a better filly today than she was uh, three months ago. Uh, but she stays well. That's one thing she does. She does stay well, but it's, it's competitive. We'll take her chances. She's got blacked up behind her name, and uh, we'll give it a go. But she's also in, in, in good shape, and uh, Keegan knows her well. And uh, she's a well-bred filly, and... Uh, so she goes to stud, and uh, what do we look forward to this filly, uh, this race, and be, it'll be the biggest test to date in this race. Uh, it's been a wonderful, wonderful season in Durban. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's always a great season, it's always great racing, and I've said to you before, the, very, the best horses meet. Um, so it's been, it's been a great season, and it'll be a great race meeting on Saturday. And uh, then we go back and we'll, we'll set up for the, for the summer, and uh, what's happening there is wonderful in Cape Town, and uh, we look forward to that too.